Hmm? Talk about an identity crisis. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class. Punch Counter Punch! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Punch, we have Counter Punch, part of the Prime Wars Trilogy, Punch Counter Punch. On this side of the box, you have the symbols of the Primes. On this side of the box, again, we have a Punch. On the top, Power of the Primes. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. When you open up the front flap, you do have... A bio here of the Power of the Primes story in multiple languages. And of course, in here is where the figure sits. Power of the Primes, bloody, bloody, bloody. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other things and stuff. And you have a brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages! And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have a punch counter punch, and he's pretty cool. I do quite dig this guy. So as you can see here in his alt mode, he is just a blue car, just a lot of blue. It's a very blue car. But we're getting close here, so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice silver up front here for the front grill. You got some transparent plastic there for the headlights. You got that transparent plastic. For the windshield and the windows, you got the red rims going on. Bit of silver there on the sides. Got some silver for the back windshield. Got some multi details as well. You have two posts back here, so you can have a Titan Master or a Prime Master just standing on the back of the car. Hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And on the back, you just have the tail lights picked out in red. There's the top. There's the bottom, visible hitch, hitch room. Kinda, you can kinda cover up his face a little bit there, but there you have that. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hurry for rolling. So, there you go. And for comparison, here he is with Deluxe Class Jazz. As you can see how that works out. So now let's talk about what is included with this figure. Of course you get his gun, which is pretty simple, but still looks kind of cool. And you can take this and uh, plug this on top of the car here if you wish. We can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang while he's driving. Or if you don't want to do that, you can store it underneath the car. There is a uh, slot here on the handle and there's this tab right here. And you can just take the gun and just tab it in right there. It also helps to cover up the face. So there you go. You got storage for your gun. Doesn't affect the rolling. It all stores nice and smooth like. So you have that. He does also include the prime armor, which is kind of pointless because he doesn't have any combined modes. So it's kind of pointless for him to have a hand, but okay. Uh, and of course you have the transparent piece there in the center that you can remove. And you can take this and just plug this on top of the car as well. Just pop it on right down like so. And you got that chunk of stuff back there. You know, got some thrusters back there. You know, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But why not? And you also get a Prime Master. You get uh, Prima Prime. Prima Prime? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I don't really care. Uh, but... There you have Prima Prime, Prima Prime, Puma Prime, I don't know. But, uh, you can see, pretty nicely done. Got some nice silver paint going on with the transparent plastic. And on the back there, you have the symbol for Prima, Prima, Puma, Prime. And of course, just fold it in half, and voila. And you can take this if you want and plug it into the Prime Armor as such, ready for things and stuff. And again, you can just take it and stand the Prime Master back there. Hey, again, things you can do if you want to do it. Woo! Now that's a fun ride right there. Oh, 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 oh,
So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's get a pretty good spin out of him. So first thing we need to do is just remove the gun. Just untap that, and we'll just put that off to the side. And you just want to come to these side panels here, and you just want to just kind of pull this out to the side and push it up, and that will pop up that windshield section. You can see where it tabs in right there. That's the easiest way to do it. Just kind of pull this out and just push it up like that, and it'll pop those sections up. Once you do that, you just want to take the whole top of the car here and just split it right down the middle like so. Then you want to take these sections here and just rotate them down. At this point, we can split the legs. And this is a neat little trick. I do quite like this. So you take the windshield and you flip that in. Then you take this section, flip that in. And then you take all this and close it up. And there you have a leg. As simple but effective. I quite like it. So just flip that in, flip that up, bring that over. And there you have the legs. All done. So moving on to the upper body. You want to untab his forearms. His forearms do tab in right up in there. Just untab the forearms. And then you just come to these side sections here and untab those from the central portion of the hood. And you can just take the arms and bring them down. Like so. With the shoulder pads, you're just going to take them and... Just kind of bring them out, bring them back, and this tab will go right into this slot right there. So just line all that up and just tab it in like so. And you have an arm all done. Second pass, just like the pass. Just like this and just angle all this around appropriately. And then just tab that right in like so. And you got that done. So now you just take this section here and you bring all of this back like so. This section flips in, this section flips in, and you just close that back up, leave that panel down. And they have that all done. And again, that's a simple little trick, but very effective and I like it. So once we do that, we just take the top of his helmet here and just bring it up to reveal his eyes. And there you have punch in his robot mode and this is his Autobot side and it looks pretty good in my opinion so let's get in close here not on that chest on that noggin there it is you see nice silver there for the face you got the eyes picked out in blue Autobot symbol a little bit of black tempo to detail there as well Got the red hands, got some silver and red there onto the thighs, and down the legs, and moving up the back. Obviously, we're going to see the uh, counterpunch parts here, but eh, there's the back. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you do have your wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a little bit, you can look down, eh, very, very slightly. Head can do a full 360, of course, you get, hey, hi, how you doing? You don't really want that. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint. They can do a full 360. They can move in and out at the ball joint itself and at the transformation hinge. Uh, you do have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. Uh, the only wrist articulation is they can move in and out, but that will reveal the other hand, and you kind of don't want that. But hey, it's a thing that moves if you need it to move. You do have... Waist rotation, the hips are on a ball joint, legs can go forward, that far, back, that far, outward, that far. You got ugh, thigh rotation that on mine is quite stiff to the point where I will pop his leg off, but there is thigh rotation there, just very snug on mine. Knees, you get 90 degrees of bend either way, the knees do swing both ways because they need to, and uh, well, nothing at the feet because he doesn't really have feet, so... There you have that. And of course you can give him his little gun there. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And if you want, of course you can give him the prime armor. Of course you can take off this little piece and give that to him as 
a little pistol if you want to hold it as such hey totally up to you what you want to do is always your toy display it however you wish but you can just flip this panel down and you can plug it into his chest which as always looks ridiculous but hey it's a thing you can do if you want to do it i don't want to do that i just don't but <laughs> there you have that and there you have punch so now we will move on to counter punch so to get him transformed into counter punch we have to remove his gun and what we're going to do here is just take the red hands and just flip them in that will bring out the blue hands like so, focus camera, focus, there you go. And same thing on the other side, just flip that around. Now we got the blue hands going on. Take this panel, flip that down. We take the shoulder pads, untab them, and you want to rotate this whole assembly outward, like so, and then just bring this down to make the shoulder pads. Same thing on the other side, just bring that up, rotate that around, bring that down, like so, and we're just gonna whoop, turn him around, and then you just flip up this panel here to reveal his Decepticon symbol, and then you just bring up the top of the helmet to reveal his eyes, and just get everything situated properly. And there you have Counterpunch in his robot mode. And this is obviously his Decepticon side, and I think it looks quite cool as well. So we're getting close here on that head sculpt. You got a little bit of silver there on the chin. The eyes are painted red. And of course, you got the Decepticon symbol right there on the chest. That transparent plastic on the chest as well. It's got the big old shoulder pads. And you have some nice metallic purple paint here on the legs and his little toes are painted black. Um, articulation is exactly the same as it was in punch mode so we're not going to go through it again and of course you can give him his gun make a pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and again you can give him the prime armor although it doesn't quite fit on this side it doesn't it don't work on this side like it just it doesn't fit it doesn't it doesn't fit. It just, it doesn't fit. Maybe it's just mine. I don't know, but it doesn't. On my copy, it doesn't fit on this side. I don't care because I'm not going to use it anyway, but yeah, it doesn't fit on my side. On this side, on my copy, words, things, stuff. So, there you go. So now that we've seen both sides of Punch and Counter Punch, let's talk about a little fix that you're going to have to do to him because he is misassembled when you take him out of the box and it has to do with his shoulders. And it's a very easy fix. It doesn't take long to do. Um, so what you need to do is you need to pop off his arms. I'm just going to do it on the one side just to demonstrate here. I've already done the fix to it, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So you're just going to pop off his arms. They're just on ball joints. And what you need to do is you need to get something under this blue panel that his head is on, and I just use my little screwdriver here, and you just kind of pop that up like so. And you can see that's actually holding the chest together. And then what you need to do is just pry the chest open. I use my spudger because it just reduces the risk of damaging anything. And you just want to get this in here and just pry the chest open just enough to where you can remove this bit, whoops, I dropped my spudger. How dare you? Of course, this works fine any other time I've done it, but of course the camera's on, so now it's gonna fight me. There we go. So you just wanna get that open enough to where you can remove this bit right here. And this is where the problem lies. So just remove that. Now, when you get this guy out of the box, the rounded piece, is facing up and that apparently is not the correct orientation you want it with this flat side facing up that is the proper orientation so just remove this piece flip it around so the flat side is now facing up and then you just pop it back on the post and that and then you just remove that and just Kind of clip everything back together, pop his arm back on, and voila, 
Voila, he says. Because the camera's on, so everything has to be harder to do now. There we go. Then he just pop his arms back on, and voila, his shoulders are now fixed, and will work the way they're supposed to. So remember, the flat part is supposed to be facing up, not the rounded part. And that's how you do that fix. Just takes a couple minutes. Nothing hard to do. So, just wanted to make you aware of that. So there you have that, and now for comparison! Here he is with Power of the Primes Deluxe Jazz. Just so you can see how he scales there. So, there you go! So there you have Punch Counter Punch. A really cool figure, really fun figure too. I've really been enjoying messing with him. It does suck that you have to fix him right out of the box, but, you know, like you saw, it's nothing major. It's just a quick little process, so, you know, not a big issue as far as I'm concerned. The transformation has some cool little tricks going on. You know, they're simple, but they're effective and definitely, for me anyway, adds to the fun factor of the figure. So overall, a very cool, fun, well-done figure, in my opinion. But the real question is, what shelf is he going to go on? My Decepticon or Autobot shelf? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about that. So there you go. Now this guy is an Amazon exclusive, so check there for availability. For all your other Transformers needs, you can also check out BigBadToyStore.com, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Power of the Primes playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Punch Counter Punch, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! <laughs> So that's the plan! It's foolproof! Tell no one of this! Yes, Lord Megatron. Um... I'll be right back, I have to do something. Prime! Prime! I know what the Decepticons are planning! Wonderful, wonderful! But do you know exactly when they're gonna put this plan into effect? Um... I'll be right back. Lord Megatron! Ah, you're back. Um, just wanted to let you know that that plan, uh, we changed it. Yeah. Pretty much everything that I told you we're gonna do the exact opposite of. I found it'll be more effective that way. I'll be right back. Prime Megatron changed his plan. Okay, but did you find out when? I'll be right back. Lord Megatron, you failed to mention Autobot Intruder! What? Oh, scrap. This is not what it looks like! <laughs>